Good day and good day. Welcome to yet another Funky Daily Devotional. Today's verse of the day is Matthew 11:28. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. That's Matthew 11:28. Uno momento, por favor. Today's message is titled "Major on Mercy." I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Exodus 33:18. What would you say is the single most outstanding thing about God? What's his most important characteristic? Some people would say it's his power, others his holiness. But God himself would give a different answer. You can find that answer in Exodus 33. There Moses is asking God to show him his glory. Now the word glory could literally be translated heavyweight. It refers to the heaviest, biggest, grandest thing about someone. It's the sum total of their worth. So what Moses was actually saying, Lord, I want to see the weightiest thing about you. I want to know the greatest attributes, your greatest attributes. What did God say to him in response? Chapter 34, 6 to 7 tells us, The Lord passed by him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. Just think about that. When Moses asked God to show him the most important thing about himself, God showed his mercy. That means if you and I are to, uh, you and I are to imitate God, Ephesians 5, 1, we must major in mercy too. Mercy, goodness, forgiveness, and compassion must mark our behavior above all else. Major on mercy, and others will see the glory of God in you. Scripture reading is Exodus 33, 7 to 23, 34, 5 to 10. 33, verse 7, the tent of, tent of meeting. Now Moses used to take a tent and pitch it outside the camp some distance away, calling it the tent of meeting. Anyone inquiring of the Lord would go to the tent of meeting outside the camp, and whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people rose and stood at the entrance to their tents, watching Moses until he entered the tent. As Moses went into the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and stay at the entrance while the Lord spoke with Moses. Whenever the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance to the tent, they all stood and worshipped, each at the entrance of their tent. The Lord would speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. Then Moses would return to the camp, but his young aide, Joshua, son of Nun, did not leave the tent. Verse 12, Moses and the glory of the Lord. Moses said to the Lord, you have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by your name and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your way so that I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish you, me from and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing that you have asked because I am pleased with you and I know you by name. Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, you cannot see my face, for no one may see and see me and live. Then the Lord said, there is a place near me where you may stand on a rock. When my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft at the rock and cover you with my hand until I pass by. Then I will remove my hand and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. Exodus 34, 5 to 10, verse 5. Then the Lord came down the cloud and stood there with him and proclaimed his name, the Lord. And he passed in front of Moses, proclaiming, The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious, uh, gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands and forgiving the wickedness and rebellion and sin. Yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. 
He punishes the children and their children's children for the sin of the parents of the third and fourth generation. Moses bowed to the ground at once and worshipped. Lord, he said, if I have found favor in your eyes, then let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, forgive our wickedness and our sin and take us as your inheritance. Verse 10, then the Lord said, I am making a covenant with you before all your people. I will do wonders never seen before in any nation in all the world. The people you live among will see how awesome is the work that I, the Lord, will do for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your goodness, your kindness, your grace, and your generosity. And oh my goodness, the mercy being the best thing about you, Lord. Amen to that. You are Um, The Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. Lord, we have billions of people now on this earth. And that says you have mercy for thousands. But what about the billions, Lord? So we pray, God, that you would extend your mercy, extend your grace, extend your love, and change our hearts and minds and um, everything about us to serve and worship you. O, O King, O Lord of our God of heaven and earth. We love you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. And we thank you for all your goodness, your greatness, and your awesomeness, we pray. We pray. Amen. God keep you and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.